now. This, I'm sure that Neil wouldn't be happy with this. This is it's really bouncing around now. All all of the all of the weight is on one thin cable at the moment. It shouldn't be. It, it should really be on the pole as well. And you just get the feeling that if that cable went, well, if it did go, the whole thing would just fall over. I just wonder whether. Uh, a stronger pole that didn't flex and wobble around so much would be better. Something that that had its own integrity into the ground, that had a big, rather than just um, a, a, a flexible pole that sat on a plate, but something that went right into the ground that was really solid and strong, that also maybe had its guy ropes on as well. Because at the moment, what's going to happen, I think, is that if, if it keeps flexing like this, the guy ropes are going to I don't know, they're always going to keep on loosening. I can go and tie them now, but because they, they do look loose. But ultimately, it's, it's just being held at the moment by one one guy rope wherever the, the, the wind's blowing. And some of these gusts are pretty ex excessive. It's certainly getting enough power out of it now. The the battery was on to 31 volts, and um, it keeps switching itself off. Obviously, the the controller for the wind power, it, it, the batteries are getting to full capacity. So, in, in that respect, it's working wonderfully. But I do think that if if we were doing this again, Neil, I'd, I'd think that a, a stronger central pole that had its own integrity, because I'm not sure if you're able to pick up from this video just how much that pole is flexing and wobbling. And I've got a feeling that all the strength now is on those cables. You see that now buffeting around. I've just got a feeling that what might happen is that it just needs for that cable to give and the whole thing's over. a bit loose Neil. Uh, the, the, the cable is stretching, but it's not just that, it's also that the, the pole itself seems to be bending and flexing. Is that normal? It looks to me as if it's going <laughs> to take off, but I don't know, maybe it's you. Neil, that the um, the anchor's got pulled out now, mate. I'm not sure the other one's yet. I can't see the water flat water is flush there because the wind's just really hell. The wind's just gonna blow me apart, I think. Hopefully the other one will uh, blow me tight and blow me. This one go. We've had it. On here. Neil, I don't know if you can see, it looks to me as though the top part of the pole above the stays is bent to the right. And as it goes round, as the fins are going around, um, we're getting a noise, not, not at this moment now, but when it's just an average speed, we're getting a, a noise. And I'm just wondering if that noise has to do with the fact that it's it's never quite straight into the wind now, and it's cutting into the wind because it, it is making a noise that you can hear from quite a distance away now, and I don't think it did to start with. 
I'll keep the video on it now, see if you can hear it. And when the wind isn't, it's not massively strong. No noise yet. It's starting now, but you see how it's the angle of the fins. Maybe it's not straight to the wind now, it's cutting into it. That's making quite a noise now, at a very average speed. I wonder if it is that. Hear it now? Shouldn't be making that sort of noise, should it? It's hardly going around. <laughs> 